Increasingly, faculty hiring committees use online video communication platforms to conduct their initial interviews. During these online interviews, they usually want to narrow their search of a large group of candidates to the finalists who they will then invite for a face-to-face -face interview and or a campus visit. Online interviewing allows them to meet candidates who live at a distance from their institution, thus broadening and enriching their search. This video tutorial offers some tips on how to prepare yourself for an online interview. Tip number one. Ensure that the audio, video, and internet connection work well on your computer. If you already don't have the telecommunications application that the hiring committee wants to use, you will have to upload it. The computer upon which you upload it will obviously have to have enough memory and the internet system where you will do the interview will need enough bandwidth so you can have a streamlined conversation. Make sure that you test out the software and the internet with a few friends before your actual interview. Tip number two. Select a distraction-free background. You want your hiring committee to focus on you and what you have to say, so make sure that you don't have something behind you that could distract them. Avoid walls full of posters or knickknacks and eliminate any clutter. A background of bookshelves might work. Tip number three. Choose a well-lit space where an interviewer can see you. Good lighting can leave a good impression. Choose either a well-lit room or a space that faces a window. Avoid any type of glaring lights that would backlight you or that light you from beneath. Tip number four. When speaking, keep your eyes on the camera of your computer, not on the screen. Although it will seem odd and unnatural, when you speak to the camera of the computer, you appear to look at the committee who interviews you. Try cutting out some images of eyes from a magazine and tape them on both sides of your computer's camera lens. Also, position the camera at eye level, not above or below you. Tip number five, frame your image from the chest up. To avoid appearing to the interview committee as a floating head, frame yourself from the hips or the chest up. Tip number six, treat this video interview as you would any other face-to-face -face interview. You should dress as if you were meeting this group in person, and your level of formality should meet what you perceive to be the tenor of your audience. Attempt to sustain the natural facial and body gestures that you would normally do, but remember that they won't necessarily translate the same on screen. Be pleasant and professional. You should also have considered what questions they might ask you and think about how you might respond. You want to sound prepared, but not scripted. Hiring committees will generally ask you these three usual inquiries. One, tell us about your scholarship and research. Two, tell us about your teaching philosophy and practices. Three, tell us about what types of service have you contributed to your intellectual communities. Normally, they will also ask you if you have any questions for them. You should have perused their website prior to the interview to try to understand their values and institutional culture. You could pose a question based on what you saw there, avoiding anything that might be politically touchy. Asking about their student body always signals your affirmative interest in them. Don't forget to write down the names of the committee members so that you can send them a thank you note after the interview. Good luck! Increasingly.